Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time, we're taking a look at the brand new P30 ARGB case from Zalman. Yeah. So, let's have a look. Right then, so let's have a look. Right, foam. Very good foam. Does have this like uh, softening thing at the back, but obviously, as you can see, you know, but this is very thick, so at least you wouldn't have to worry about it getting damaged in transit. Now, let's get this out of here first now. So like I said, this is Almond's brand new case. And it is the P30. Now, ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, no, okay, now I understand. Ooh. Oh, wow, this looks gorgeous, this does. I like this design because this is very similar to the uh, Height Y40 from Height. So, here we go. Right. Okay, so. This is where the... Uh, ow! This is where the front dial is. It has got Type-C, it's got USB 3.0 power button and then it's got a headphone and microphone jack it's got the big Zalman logo by there and then of course then it's got a very similar layout to what the uh, Y40 has and this one is just a pull right okay very well actually that's quite long actually con considering but this is an M8 ATX mother uh, case this d d isn't uh, this doesn't support ATX whatsoever so you've got a couple of grommet holes here this is for cables uh, you do have three included ARGB hand, uh, fans these ones we have got the uh, reverse fan so it will draw in air from the outside so like I said MATX ITX so it's all white, you get three included fans, and then of course then is the front part right here, which that doesn't come off, that's probably going to need to, you know, you probably have to unscrew it. Very similar layout actually as something from Montec. So, right, here we go. Got magnetic dust filters with the little puller tabs by here. So magnetic dust filter, like that, you've got them on both sides, one for the one for the power supply, one for that side, so it's not so bad. No, it actually it's got a rigid feel to it. It's not really it's not it doesn't feel cheap. Ooh. Right, I like white cases, but there's not a lot of room in here for cables. Now it's got a lot of room underneath here for power supplies. As you can see, look at that. That just supports the biggest power supplies you can uh, find does have a SSD mount by here and then of course then you've got this cage but then it only holds 120 fans it's got five PCI slots and that's pretty much it obviously it's got these cutouts here for cable management with included with all these cable tie uh, attack uh, these little standoffs here as well and then we got this assembly here which has got thumb screws Ooh. Well, are these captive? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're captive screws. But you have a big dust filter. Obviously, this isn't... This looks... Oh, it's just glued in, looks like. Yeah, just glued in, so cleaning that might be a bit of a nightmare. So, as for the top right here, as you can see, it has got the mountings for a 360. I believe... Yeah, that looks like a... Oof, that looks like it that should support a 280 as well i can't really say about a anything bigger but it'll definitely hold a 280 millimeter aio or a 360 on the top very easily and that's pretty much it guys overall very nice case and looks very nice actually quality seems there it's not cheap plastic it feels robust and that's pretty much it so yeah Look, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, this is Rich from Wel Welchy Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good. Bye.